starts with one thing I don't know why it doesn't even matter how hard you try keep that in mind I design this rhyme to explain in due time all I know time is a valuable thing watch it fly by as the pendulum and my dad's a great guy he backs me in any choices I make and uh he's like well if you think you can pull it I'll build it gravity games the biggest con one of the biggest contests of the year either I'm gonna stomp this thing and everyone's gonna see me pull a flip or I'll crash my brains out and everyone will still see it. I mean, it'll be worthwhile, you know, and, uh, and it's, it's something I gotta do for myself. I tried so hard and got so far But in the end, it doesn't even matter I had to fall to lose it all Got some gravity games, I was a mess. I mean, like I said, before I stepped foot on the plane, I pretty much told myself I was gonna do a flip. I asked Harry, well, what do you want me to do? He says, build it. So Sunday morning, the day of the finals, I got out there and built what I thought looked about right. You know, TJ was down there with me, kind of eyeballing things. I mean, I was, I mean, I was going like the BMX guys get input. Like, what do, you th what do you think? I mean, you know this better than I do. What do you think is going to make me flip this bike? So I mean, it took me a good two hours, you know, out there digging with a shovel and packing and re-rolling and made a line six inches wide up the face of this 10 foot tall landing. I mean, it was sheer, I mean, it was about two degrees off of being full vertical. I mean, all the transitions in the bottom, you know, nice big flat spot up on top, and, uh, and it was like, all right, this is, the, this is the day. I mean, I remember laying in my bed at the hotel the night before, like, tomorrow is the day I'm gonna flip. And the thing that's kind of spooky about it is, I mean, this situation, I mean, of course, I mean, I knew I was gonna go high, and I knew I had a lot of weight going with me, and I'm walking around that day, and like, you know, like, all right, I'm not limping yet, and you know, I'm like, I ain't got no casts on me, and I'm got full range of everything, you know, nothing's you know broken or twisted or sprained. I've put my trust in you, pushed as far as I remember right before the final round started, we had like a little intermission, like course prep. I walked down there, and I was staring at the face of this jump, and my dad walked down with me, and. Uh, you know, he just kind of looked over and was like, all right, I mean, you know, you can back out. You don't have to do this. And I was just kind of like, no, I, I really got to do this. Let me know when you're ready, Gary. All right. I didn't want my bike. And I remember just looking at that thing and just kind of walking back up the hill. And it's like, all right, here we go. So got on my bike. I was like the fourth, fourth guy out. And uh, pretty much life or death. I was like, if I pull it. I've honestly, I've never, ever been that nervous, that tense that excited, that scared, at one time on a bike in my life. I mean, that, that was the point, that was like definitely like the most intense point of, of my life. Like I've never had like those, those many emotions going at one time. Jumped up, arms in the air, just freaking. I mean, just, it was intense. I mean, it was, dude, it was wild. It was like the most intense time of my life. And it was like, ah, oh, I did it. I mean, it's like a 300 pound man sat, sat off my shoulders. You know, it was like, my dad rushed me and TJ rushed me and everyone tackled me. And it was just like, dude, it was, it was intense. It was like, I was just so overwhelmed and like so emotional. And it was, it was just wild. I mean, I never, I've never had that feeling before in my life on a motorcycle, and I never will, because that, that, was, that was the one point in my life on my bike that, was, that will stand out a mile from anything else I've ever done, and I'll ever do.